Rashad, uh, thank you for the super chat. Do you think it's appropriate for women to go to a nightclub or a girls' trip with your single friends when you are in a committed relationship? Will it constitute cheating when a man comes up to you during these situations and you just talk with him? If she sneezed and he said, bless you, is that cheating? Is Honestly, that a body? No, <laughs> no. How about that guy gets no. some like security? <laughs> Wait, if a that... girl goes out of her way to go to a bar because she wants to flirt and talk to men, I would consider that cheating. Yes. Yeah. If she's at yes. the bar and with she's hanging friends. out with her friends and a man approaches her, she's not in control of that. She is in control, however, of denying how she responds to I'm not going to accept him. a drink. I don't want a drink. I'm not interested. The right. only reason why I would accept a drink from you is A, if I was too broke to buy my own, which is not the case, or B, if I was interested or playing interested. I'm not going to either fake interest or pretend to be too broke to buy my own drinks. Mm -hmm. So yes, yeah. there is a line that gets crossed when women go out that would constitute in my book as cheating. Sure. But going out with your friends and having a man approach you, which you're not in control of, and you maybe multiple times telling him to go away, it's not your problem. Yeah. And just because men are insecure about it doesn't mean that it's your problem. I don't right. think accepting a drink is cheating. No. At all. Yeah. I don't either. Yeah, if you want to send I mean, me I'm a drink. Wow, so, thank you. That's so yeah. nice. So, th so if this you send it yeah. without you asking. It's a dangerous line here. I'm totally yeah. saying yeah. 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 totally yeah. yeah. it's, it's a drink. It, it, is, it is a very yeah, dangerous line yeah. right yeah, here. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. It is. And here's why. Playing with fire. So I feel that depending on who your boyfriend is and who you're in a relationship with, if you end up running into the wrong guy right. that has mm -hmm. his shit together, mm -hmm. that is charismatic, unreactive, and that you're like mm -hmm. talking to him, looking at him going, I know I won't cheat. I know I'm a good woman. I will never cheat on my man. But this guy just opened up another part of my brain that goes, am I settling with the guy that I'm with right now. Is he the best wow. I can so do? So fuck around and <laughs> find out. Fuck around and find, find out. out because if you meet yeah. the right guy, and I won't point any fingers, but I've had, <laughs> I, I, I swear to God, I've had boot camps where my job, how I'm paying my mortgage, how I pay my money is guys, I go into a social gathering and they go, go walk up to those five girls with the four guys. This is my job. Yeah. So then, been doing it for 18 years. I have oh. data now where the girl stayed in She didn't cheat, but I just saw it in her eyes yeah. that she went, what am I missing right the now? The seed of doubt and has been you, planted. And Rolo, you know what happened? <laughs> she would tell her friend, get down um, his information because mm. she wanted to be loyal. And guess what happens? She ends up not following me, but I'm like, who's looking at my story? That girl. Oh Eight months later, guess what happens? Your plan B. She breaks up <laughs> with her boyfriend. So I agree with what you're saying. Fuck around and find out, though. Yeah. No, so, so if, 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 if you're drink an unspoken, if, like, because well, they're planting well, a seed a right there with that drink. Maybe. But I'm gonna tag it with just one liner. If you're not a high value guy, if you don't feel that you are like providing a lot for your girl and you let your girl go out on a trip or you know, you know what I'm saying? Like if you're if your girlfriend goes out and runs into the wrong guy at the wrong time. Or the right guy. Good luck. At the right time. Well, mm -hmm. he's not the right guy because you're monogamous and you're I in a relationship. What I'm saying is that it could, <laughs> it could be that way. It could be the guy that she's been dreaming of her whole life that she just stumbled across without even trying to look for it, and now you fucked around and you found out. Right? But you're going to get. Right. But, but, and when you're married, that's not But you hear what I'm saying, though, right? It's not appropriate, like, but it could be. It is what it, it's the there, there, potential. There is nothing appropriate or inappropriate yeah, about it. it, so it, it yeah. Let me let me let me it. opine here. Oh, the, the the problem isn't about going out and going. It, it's yeah. it's the desire to the do it in the first place. 100 yes. mm. Okay. To, to, to so, think the grass is greener, that's well, the problem. Well, it's not even so much that. It's it's the the very fact that why why is going out on a, you know, hey, we're going to go to Vegas this a girl's weekend in Vegas, right? right. Or a, a, a girl's night out <laughs> kind of thing. Why is that why does that seem preferable to like going out with the girls than to hanging out with me and doing something really fun with me. Well, why can't uh, she have both? Because this she is wants what I don't understand. Exactly. You, you can't, can't have, have a you it's, can't okay. have full because well rounded life if right. you're always only with your person. You yeah. have to be able to be with right. your friends. But why do you, you why do you why do you go to those situations? Why why aren't you going to people like music some people like that environment? You want to go like this and why is that more preferable? Then why is that more preferable than going out with me? 
every single because time. But why do you go this. out with your male friends you and I can't go out with my girlfriends? You can go with me next weekend and the weekend after I'm going to go with my girls. There's nothing mm-hmm. wrong with going to the club. That's like telling men they can't go to a strip club when they're in a relationship. If it's okay in your relationship, it's okay in your relationship. <laughs> Hello. There's nothing wrong with wanting to do it. You can easily go with your man right. to the strip club. Because a man's going to lie again, and say you didn't before, go, but you know you it's, did. It's understanding the desire to go and do that. The very fact that There's she... There's nothing is, wrong with like the desire were, so, to go well, to a music when you were well, saying, setting. Well, okay. Under, it's a music un- setting. Just because they've made it a sexual thing now where people go to yeah, get laid. That's true. Exactly. That's true. It was that not is about that. Right. That is it not took our a fault. turn that way. There's nightclubs. That's were, Cardi B's were, fault. But it's great for you to have fun as well. Would, you can meet would, somebody would, anyway. Would you agree that there's a difference between going out <laughs> to zoo and Cardi going B. to Bible study with your girlfriends? Why does that have to oh, be one extreme or the other? That's because I'm trying to point out that there's... It depends on the context of how you go to that club. Because like, if you go to that, for instance, if it's a girl's trip, you go to that club and you pay for your table and you Right. Pay for your drinks or your bottles. That's you having fun with your friends. Right. right. You exactly go to that club her. to right. talk to the promoter to get right. the free table with the guys because they want the attractive girls, and right. you let it slide because, yes. well, I'm not cheating. I don't want to But I just want free stuff. Yeah. Then yes. it gets into that like that that's when it gets weird. kind of iffy. Again, the really nightclub iffy. is not the issue because a girl can easily have zero. I don't drink when I go out. One of my best friends in the whole entire world mm. is a top DJ, and I go every single time he's in town. I go and I hang out with him. You and support ask, him. Ask Michael every time he sees. Yeah. me on stage what am i doing just hanging out with your boyfriend standing there or, or, my, or my husband's with me either my husband's standing right next to me or i'm standing by myself like this waiting for his set to end because i'm a supportive friend and it's like i can go to this the club well, his sets it are does, awesome his sets are awesome, his sets are awesome. it's still Absolutely. my dead mouse i his sets are great yeah, if, I mean, if he was playing that. tonight i would take a whole of you to go yes. see dead mouse. Yes. Yes. Yeah. he'll be back on the 12th yes but, um, My point what, is the nightclub what, setting is not the problem. What I, what I, it's I the think, intent of the person going intent, to the nightclub. Right. Absolutely. It's all intention. It has nothing. Yes. If I say right. I want to go to the nightclub, if my intent is just to go hang out or to see my friend play or to be with my girls, that is the only thing that matters. Mm-hmm. It shouldn't be that, oh, she went to a nightclub. She's a ho. She's looking for a man. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like, like, oh, shit, here oh, she, she goes. She needs like, bottles with somebody else. drink. But you just said a minute ago, responding to Cosmo there, that you might meet. The guy and who that's the, that's the I risk was drunk, you run. he was no, no, cute. No, no, no. But you can meet the that's guy. not what I said. What I said is accepting the drinks. I told her very clearly, mm-hmm. I think crossing the line is accepting drinks. I won't even accept a drink from a man. I won't engage in conversation with a man because I don't want him to think he has a chance. And I don't want to disrespect my relationship. Mm-hmm. The moment girls are like, oh, I don't mind taking a drink. I don't know. That's when you start playing with fire. And that's what he was yeah. talking about. Where you never know. When you start engaging in conversation and this guy sparks something in you. Yeah. And all of a sudden now you fucked around and you found the fuck out. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> doing that shit. Can I say something? Shit. Because you know what's true? Is that th- when a man comes to you and they want to buy you a drink, they're planting some sort of seed with they're you. They're telling you what their intent is. Oh, so you are if, you, their intent. if you have a man at home... And you buy the, and you accept this drink from this man instead of buying your own, and then next thing you know, you got something in there. Yeah, that's Next wrong. thing you know, you know what I mean. And Just that's yeah, how so, so, so shit like it, that happens. It is it is one of these weird situations. So I I've, I've asked my guy my guys in my my program to stop rating women by their physical attractiveness and start rating them by the level of stimulus they receive. Amen. Meaning, if you grab wow. a girl who's a 10 and she and she's just like, hey, listen, I'm working to become a surgical nurse. I, I'm going to school the whole time. I don't really go out that much or whatever, but she's still fantastically Validate beautiful. Yeah. Versus a woman who might be a six who uses Face App and Facetune on her Instagram and then takes regular trips to Dubai. Yeah. The girl who's a six is more difficult to deal with, period, even though she's less attractive. So I started re- yeah. like realizing it's the amount of stimulus you receive it's also the amount of stimulus you want she may oh i'm gonna go to see thunder from down under and not cheat on you why do you need that level of stimulus that's the question (laughs) that you have to ask yourself because here's the thing human beings this is something you learn if you guys ever go to uh, any kind of intelligence training or they go to any kind of like seer school or whatever everybody breaks no matter how everyone if they put you under torture you will break and if you take the bet and you've seen this yourself with cocktail servers who've moved to the city and they leave their fucking husbands and they start fucking the busser or some rich dude who, bu- who buys them stuff but, but it's not because it was you know what it was though it was chip away it was chip away every day there was a guy taller better looking smarter and fucking funnier and richer than their man every day they saw that and after a while you have to ask yourself yeah. one more time how much stimulus is she constantly receiving every day men screw themselves up with stimulus what is that called it's pornography it causes men under the age of 18 to have erectile dysfunction yeah. women have the excessive levels of stimulus that they receive too but if it's so much stimulus then your man 
cannot compare. 80% of men on dating apps are deemed unattractive. And before social media, you can go back, back in my time, I'm 40 years old, yeah. when the pickup artist came out, you said, not to rate women, <laughs> but like, you see like a 9 or a 10, she's like in Arkansas, we're doing a boot camp, she's working at 7-Eleven. But she has no idea what was it back there, My, MySpace, I think? Yeah. yeah. And she has Absolutely. no yeah. idea. And now, yeah. like what Mike is saying is true, I'm not trying to like belittle women, but there's women that think they're from a one to a 10, a 14, because they're being DM'd 40, 50 times, come to Dubai, come to, you know, come here, come there. And in their head, they think like the Drake effect, right? Like if they can fuck Drake one time, they think that they can marry a guy like Drake. And then now we're just fucked. Like guys oh, are fucked. Yeah. Well, That's, but it yeah. happens a lot though, right? Yeah. Like it, like That's that sad. is what's happening right now. And even if it's yeah. so we not can happening, tell all... the perception of it is still just which, 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 which is still, yeah. Yeah. Which is still reality yeah. though, right? Mm. Because perception let's say that reality. we, let's say mm. that all men made a bet together tomorrow, mm. 8 a.m. They said, stop DMing girls every day. You can only DM one girl every 50 days. I feel like a lot of this would change, but the social media has changed a lot of the attraction dynamic. Exactly. Like, I grew up in the pen pal era. In a what? <laughs> the pen pal pen era. Pal. I did say pimp. Oh, she did say pimp. She did. Oh, get the app today. It's on apple.com. <laughs> <So> <laughs> when you write to people yeah. mm -hmm. long distance yeah because i dance in people shows you've never met and you would just exchange no it was my high school friends like Aww. yeah i didn't yeah. there was no internet there was no nothing back there, in those days yeah there there are studies that show this is actually in uh, believe in evolution of desire where they talk about as men watched more pornography or looked at images of attractive women they started to deem their partner as being less and less attractive yeah. The same thing happens for women, guys. Yeah. It does. And like your partner doesn't do anything wrong, but right. you are just constantly comparing him. And because of Dunbar's number, which is uh, anthropologically or like historically, humans were in tribes of about 115 to 150 people. You're not in a tribe of 150 people. There's going to be 60, 70,000 people watching this show right now. And so when you sit, when you come to that realization, like you have access to infinite levels of people and you don't recognize. So you, now you start to stratify for that top 1%. Things become yeah. unrealistic and you're all trying to chase chad and tyrone and then it becomes a fucking problem well, Mike, you know what? what it is though when you do that then you start finding value in real authentic genuine people of course mike, you know mike what I mean? what's the what's the solution mike and rollo what is the solution here i have an idea you, you go hard for something else de <laughs> de incentivize it's all, it boils down to operant conditioning it's basically i'm gonna go i'm gonna be rollo the behaviorist right now um it's it's operant conditioning you have to remove the reward and yeah. no one has the will to remove the reward. People have asked me about, well, what? I was just on uh, Tim Pool asked me exactly the same uh, question. I'm like, you have to remove the incentives. You yeah. have to remove the rewards. Oh, how do we stop OnlyFans from like destroying the world? You have to it, be, regulate it. It has to be federally <laughs> regulated for anything, for, if you want to see anything happen. Because there is no incentive for anyone to stop watching or producing right mm -hmm. now. All of your guys' friends Period. do OnlyFans. Oh, oh yeah. I know. Every I know. single one of I'm your not, girls is friends. I, I know, and I'm not saying, I'm not saying, I'm not suggesting that we do that, but that's the only way I can see where you could, and that, that's just one example, right? So How women you, should stop well, sleeping with out, men out of wedlock. Well, don't have sex with any man unless you OnlyFans anymore, you guys. Incentive. Incentive. What I'm saying is, because women will say, well, if guys would be better, then women will be better. Okay, the only way you do that, disincentivize whatever it is that women are doing are yeah, rewarding he's, he's, men with and therefore you he, will change the dynamic you change a, the nature of the game he's not, it's never going to happen i'm not suggesting yeah. it i'm not endorsing anything i'm just saying if you want a mechanic that would work that's the only one that'll work and no one's has he, the will to he, do he, it. he's expressing a mathematical equation or yeah. he's expressing an if then statement in programming See, watch your head yeah. your eyes glow, gloss back over in your head when I throw exactly. yeah. <laughs> but, but he's he, he's expressing a mathematical situation right. he's not expressing uh he's not it's not a prescription yeah. uh, for me all. for me no we're doomed I absolutely, I know people hate when Enjoy I say the this. Decline. We're fucking doomed. <laughs> Enjoy the decline. Men will be fucking robots. Men will be fucking robots in exactly. 10, 20 years. Yeah. And women will be having women. The the meteor. Women will be having children with other women. You should read Ray Kurzweil's book uh, it called The Singularity is absolutely. Near. The final chapter talks about this. But even when the Titanic was sinking, some people found lifeboats. 
I'm trying to create a lifeboat. That's what this is. Yes. And I'm gonna, I'm telling you right now. So it was good. actually it was actually Ruslan of all people. He said this. He goes, my kids are gonna look like fucking superheroes. You want to know why? Because mm. they're gonna be able to fight. They're gonna be able to bench press. They're gonna be able to play football. They're gonna be able to talk to strangers. They're gonna read books. They're gonna do Drive all these stick things. Drive shift. Yeah. They're, they're gonna do. They're gonna do all these things. He goes, my kids are gonna look like fucking superheroes. So me and my guys, we're gonna look like superheroes while the rest of you play fucking video games, VR. watch a bunch of porn, and fuck robots. Yeah. That's that's. Weed. Yeah.